Well, folks, I love October because it, it's time to talk about a subject that is uh, near and dear to my heart. I, I can't imagine a family that has not been touched by breast cancer. It's just uh, all pervasive throughout a society. And a good friend of mine is Ashley Miller. She's with the uh, National Breast Cancer Foundation. She joins us from their Frisco studio. Thanks for coming on the show. Hey, Chad. Thanks so much for having us. We always love visiting with you. Absolutely. And uh, October is your Super Bowl. I mean, this is what you prepare all year for. And I know you have some new stuff in store. So tell us about what's going on in October this year. Yeah, we sure do know. I mean, October is certainly an important month for National Breast Cancer Foundation. You know, we're headquartered right here in Frisco, Texas. Uh, but the important thing is that we get people to prioritize their screenings and to prioritize their breast health every other month of the year. In fact, every day of the year. Um, but we're happy to be top of mind for people in October. It's an exciting year for National Breast Cancer Foundation. We've got a lot of cool things on the horizon. Um, one of the ones that I'd love to start with is a brand new celebrity ambassador that we have coming on board for us. So typically you will see these nonprofit organizations, these breast health organizations that work alongside celebrity ambassadors to help widen the platform for their mission. Um, some of those are paid sponsorships, paid partnerships. We're so grateful that we've never had to do that here at NBCF. So we're proud to announce that our newest celebrity ambassador that's coming alongside us to help more women now is none other than Disney franchise's own Meg Donnelly. Wow. So it's an exciting month here at NBCF. Yeah. Yeah, uh, tell us how that partnership came about. How did you uh, reach out to Meg and how did that uh, come together? Yeah, you know, it was organic, and that's why I think it's going to be so effective and efficient. Meg actually reached out um, to me directly and just said, hey, you know, I have been a part of this Disney franchise, Zombies. Zombies 1, 2, and 3 were very popular with that within Disney. Um, and Zombies 4 is on the horizon in 2025. And she said, I just feel like we've got a big platform right now. One of the other stars of the show is actually on Dancing with the Stars right now. And Meg has a very near and dear cause connection through her mom, Liz, who actually um, flew in to join us alongside Meg this week. And she's just ready to kind of not only grow up from being a Disney star, um, she's got a debut album coming out soon, um, but she really just wants to be able to use this platform for what will likely be the final installment of the Zombies franchise to help more women now. So we're honored. Ashley, that's so exciting. Uh, we found a great promo video that you guys created. Let's go ahead and roll that now. One in eight women in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. That's more than 700 women diagnosed every single day. We know breast cancer doesn't wait, so neither do we. At National Breast Cancer Foundation, we're committed to helping women now. Many women don't have access to the critical education, mammograms, or support they need when facing breast cancer. Together, we get them the care they need because everyone deserves equal access to care and they deserve it now. With your help, our collective effort turns into free mammograms, education, patient navigation, hope kits, and support groups. It's real support right here, right now. Waiting isn't an option. No matter the circumstance, we must take action now. This October, join us as we provide education, early detection, and support for all. Join us in helping women now. Ashley, I know we've talked in the past. I know the pandemic was a, a, a big event where so many women put off getting screening. Are we back to where we were pre-pandemic? You know, I don't know that we'll ever be back to pre-pandemic levels, but we're well on our way. I think the really unique thing about a campaign like the video you just saw with NBCF is in the past, we prioritized these beautiful marketing campaigns that um, are really catchy in the way of an acronym. Maybe we've talked about rise, rally and screening everyone to get back to the pre-pandemic levels. But this year, we kind of wanted to take the opportunity to remind people who we are get back to our origin of being one of the only in the world that helps women right now in the moment, no matter where she is in her breast health journey, but really reintroducing ourselves. You know, National Breast Cancer Foundation is the highest rated and most well-respected breast cancer charity in the world. And we genuinely believe it's because we keep the female at the center of everything we do. If one thing stands out from that video, you know, I hope it's prioritizing your breast health, but also just think of the word now and being able to use that amazing campaign to put the female at the center of the O, 
just like NBCF does, if we keep our focus on the female and her family and we can prioritize her and eliminating the barriers to care all along her breast health journey, then we're doing our job. And then you couldn't do this without valuable partnerships. Talk about how people can get involved. If there's a CEO of a, a company that wants to uh, throw their support behind you, how, how does that work? Oh, we would love that. You know, NVCF was on the forefront of cause marketing. So think about turning a, pod- a product pink and being able to give a dollar amount or a percentage of the proceeds of those sales back to an organization. Um, when you visit NBCF, and I encourage anybody that's watching locally to do that, we're headquartered in Frisco, Texas, you'll enjoy our pink room or a pink wall where we have a lot of those products on display. But above and beyond, you know, being able to turn our product pink and to give a percentage back to NBCF's programs and services, you can volunteer. We love when people have a hands-on opportunity, whether it's here in person at our headquarters or it's at their facility. We ship Hope Kits all throughout the country during the month of October and year-round so that we can package Hope Kits for women that are going through treatment. Um, And I would also encourage people to look into becoming a community ambassador. So that's an opportunity to go through a virtual online training where they can become a certified fundraiser in their community. They can become their own spokesperson for who we are and what we do. But more importantly, kind of deepen the roots locally of our mission and all that we're doing to help women now in their community so they can be a front line of defense to make sure that people know that NBCF is here to help. And you, you guys do such a great job educating people, and that's one of the reasons why you, you started your podcast. In fact, we helped uh, build your studios, uh, your beautiful studios in Frisco. Talk a little bit about the show and the kinds of topics that you tackle. You know, it's a very unconventional way to reach a new demographic. The unfortunate reality of breast cancer is sometimes people think of us a little too late, right? It's after they found the lump. Um, or maybe even after they've been diagnosed. But the beautiful thing about it is that we know that early detection saves lives. So when you're doing those breast self exams, when you're prioritizing your screenings, when breast cancer is detected in the earliest localized stages, it's 99.9% survivable. So really unique avenues and mediums like Hope Ignited, our brand new podcast, we're in season two alongside you guys, is a really unique way to reach a very different demographic. We tend to see it skews towards a younger demographic, which is important. You know, breast cancer is certainly being diagnosed in a younger generation, but more importantly, it's never too early to start prioritizing those breast self exams and just making sure that you know your body. If something looks different, if it feels different, make sure you contact your health provider. And I do encourage everybody to look up Hope Ignited. You can find it on our website um, or by going to any social media platform, the Hope Ignited podcast is a really unique way to learn from thought leaders all across all industries. We've got celebrities, we've got athletes that are, you know, being so generous with their time to share their expertise and their journeys with us. So again, we can reach a different demographic. And if just one female watches our podcast and it reminds her to schedule her mammogram or reminds her to do her breast self exam, we're saving lives. So in the final two minutes, uh, let's have a call to action, Ashley. What would you like people to do? You know, I encourage everybody to visit NBCF.org just to make sure that they can check out our programs and services. We're so proud to have a presence in all 50 states from coast to coast. If you or someone you know is going through breast cancer, or if you've got questions, you know, again, our job is to eliminate the barriers to care. And I think so many people think, well, that's financial. It's not just financial, it's access to care, it's fear, it's misinformation. And so our website is amazing at giving free resources to people when they just have questions, when they're looking for a helping hand and they don't know where to go. You know, I also um, am really excited about all the amazing things we have coming up in October. We will be headed to New York City here next week as um, Second City New York is going to be hosting the first ever stand-up benefit comedy show for a cause. We're honored that Second City would choose National Breast Cancer Foundation to really be able to use humor for hope. You know, we know that one in eight women will be diagnosed in her lifetime. And the one thing that we can do is make sure that hope is instilled in that journey. So being able to utilize comedy as a form of levity during the breast cancer journey is going to be a new venture for us. but something we're really excited about. If you happen to be local, I encourage you to check out Roller Town in Salina, Texas. They're soon moving their headquarters to Frisco, Texas, as many of you know. But it's a unique opportunity for us to come alongside media personalities like Ben and Skin, Dirk, Dude Perfect, to be able to debut our Beer Hope Squad that's at their tap room now. Just a lot of unique um, and interesting ways to get involved with NBCF this October. 
And as a reminder, it is never too late to prioritize your breast health, and NBCF is here to help women now 24-7. Reach out to us anytime at NBCF.org or across social media on any of our platforms so that we can make sure that you guys have an effective and efficient means by which to care that you need. Ashley, you are such a great spokesperson. Uh, Thank you so much for sharing your heart and your wisdom. We're going to end with the website, which is nationalbreastcancer.org. The great Ashley Miller, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Jeff.